most infectious people I've ever met in my entire life, and I've never um, clicked with someone that well before. David, uh, you're just like a brother. You're I'm one of those sure. people that I, everything you did, like I, I liked, you know, and I wanted to do that. It's like you and you and Spencer were my biggest role models. Um, I've ever had. My freshman year of high school, um, I played a boy in our fall show, and I was so nervous. And um, after the first night, you came and you like made it a point to come up to me, and you grabbed my shoulder and said, "You're really talented. You should do this." And um, it was, it was, it just meant a lot to me. And um, just coming from somebody that I idolized, thought was so talented, to be looking at me, this small freshman, and say that I was somebody special. And you just had that effect on people. You made them feel important. Um, so just thank you so much for the fact that you had in my life. And so David was trying to get catch up with catch up Spencer, and I came and I came over. And I, I, I tried to help him for some reason. I didn't know. And I, I pushed it, and catch up just splattered all over his hand. And he like looked at me, and I looked at him, and I was like, what? and then he walked away. And I was like, dang it! I just catch up to this eighth grader. Uh, and the next day at lunch, he gave me like a little thing of ketchup. <laughs> and we didn't know each other. It was just like, here you go. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks for the ketchup. One thing that I picked up on David pretty early and it just kept reinforced itself over time was how infectiously creative he was. He could just come into the room and his energy would just somehow seep into those around him. It was a, it's a sort of irreceptible talent where he could just bring the best out of somebody creative. You were, as everyone knows, my first crush, and I learned what it meant to be embarrassed in front of boys because of you, and I learned what it meant to worry about which shoes to wear with my navy skirt, whether it should be Uggs for the day, or my fans, and the white polo, or the black one. He made me laugh so hard. I have a lot of great memories of him really uh, accepting me into the Oaks Christian group. He's really a friend that changed my life, uh, opened my world to music um, and to art as well. Uh, he had a, a pure source of creativity and joy that he shared with me. I think I even had a crush on you, maybe. Probably up until sooner. have been a junior and we're all sitting around there and all the older kids are sitting around all the theater kids and they have a guitar and a set of bongos and I just remember David and everyone else mostly David sitting there singing I don't know how the song goes but I'll keep playing the bongos I don't know how the song goes but it goes like this yeah just that he let me in um, to such a big part of his life and David was just so compelling his life was compelling and I know I'm not alone in saying that I just wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to be let into this world that he had created and was acting out and everything was just so intriguing. I just want to say thank you for David um, because he really, I think he changed all of us. He, the laughter that I've shared with David, I, the level of laughter that I've shared with David 
has not been surpassed by any other relationship I've ever had. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, he's changed my life. The idea of just his um, unbridled, unbridled uh, creativity and uh, his ability to find humor and, and, and fun in things that most people, I think 99.9% .9 of the world would not be able to locate. You know, he sees the world through a different lens. David came up to me after the show, and I remember him saying, you have a really pretty voice. And I almost fainted. <laughs> because even I was speechless, because getting a compliment from David was just, like, gold. It was gold. Sophomore year, uh, Jessica was dating my brother, Daniel, and apparently they were, like, in love or something, and they would just be, like, found on campus together all the time. Um, I don't think David, I didn't know Jessica very well, and I don't think David knew my brother very well at all, but uh, I guess he decided to uh, write my brother a song um, called Dan the Man, um, and it's just kind of, my first interaction, just this kid barely knows my brother, writes him a song, and uh, later, it wasn't until junior or senior year I really got to know him, but um, from day one, I was just like, who, who is this kid? I mean, what was the highlight of my Lucina experience? The first time I, I met you was when I first came to UCLA, and then I knew I wanted to join Film Photo Site immediately. Um, we're going to the screenwriting workshop, and I'm getting ready to pitch my idea, and we're going around the circle, and I see you. You have, like, you know, your big tough hair, your suspenders, and just, like, hands yeah, and pockets. I like dude, this guy this guy's a threat in every like positive way possible. I just always admired David's storytelling. He's one of the funniest, most creative people that I've ever met. Um, and I just, you know, I know that he was he was a great mind and a great soul and I miss him a lot. It was just so fun to work around on set. He was so happy. It was it didn't even feel like a project. It just felt like a hobby, like something we were doing that we loved. And I just remember that's, that's just how he made everyone feel all the time. Like anything that we did wasn't work, it was just fun. You know, it was all pleasant. And you know, that's that's how I think I'll always remember him. I want you to know that despite this tragedy, David was an incredible person full of light, life, and joy. And he brought that to everyone he met. You know that really big, like deep throaty laugh that um, you bet makes people start crying like after your joke. I'm, I'm positive that's what God's doing right now. I loved your kid a lot. I did.